difference. Oh, you all are quiet already. No work for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a quiet minute together. Eyes closed, please. I invite you to become highly conscious in this moment. And that means observing your experience. Observing the feeling of the body, the sensations of the body. Observing the process of breathing, slowly breathing in and out. And of course, giving attention to the flow of thoughts in the mind. Observe that flow of thought ensure that you are not thinking of things from the past, not remembering. Ensure that you are not projecting into the future. You want to focus on your experience in this moment, in the present. And an easy way to do that is to anchor yourself in your breathing slowly breathing in and slowly breathing out. And as you listen to the sound of my voice, you find it easy to understand me because we are able to connect beyond the words. We are able to connect in a different dimension through the energy, beyond words. And as we come together in that connection, we come into a space of supporting each other and being open to receiving support. We come into a place of an open heart and mind. We prepare ourselves for our class together, our time together. And I want you to know, I want you to acknowledge for yourself that we are learning on multiple levels. Not just from the words. but from sharing in each other's presence, sharing in each other's energy. We are learning beyond words. Slowly breathing in and out. Feel the weight of the body resting on the ground. Feel each deep breath that you take Softly draw the chin down and then slowly coming up. Come to the central position and then take that slowly side to side, left and right. To the central position and then with a few soft blinks, opening the eyes.
thank you very much, everyone. Um, strong work so far. I feel like we could probably just go now. Um, <laughs> Zara, if you want to can comment or also go right. Somebody's comment? Okay. So the first thing I want to do is congratulate all of you. You could give yourself your pat on the back if you like. <laughs> Why? For making the time for yourself. For saying that this is something that I want for me. Because meditation is an intensely personal practice. You don't meditate for other people, although other people will benefit. You meditate for you. It is something for your own personal development for your own mind, for your own heart, for your own energy. To have your own sense of peace, wisdom, joy, etc. And other people, of course, will benefit from that, very naturally so. Because I'm sure you can agree, if you are more peaceful, um, sorry, they don't. If, if you are more peaceful, then other people are influenced by that, no? If you are more wise, then other people benefit from that, right? So even though other people will benefit from your meditation, your meditation is for you. Always remember that, it is for you. It is about this one that is here, right? And let us, and also I'm happy you're for giving the pat on your back, because I believe, this is my experience and my, honestly, I believe this 100%, that meditation is the best investment you can make. The best investment you can make. Why? Because you can invest in your education, like some of you have done, like we have all had our education, right? But honestly, can you remember every single thing that you have learned from education? No, not so. I struggle to remember my son in five days. <laughs> Although I know I must have learned things, I can't quite place what happened. <laughs> I have a degree in psychology, and if I look at my transcript, I look at the class and say, wow, did I take that? <laughs> World history? <laughs> what? <laughs> right? <laughs> so our education, even though we learned all of those things in school, some of it will slip away from us. Check your head, yes, it is like that. Our relationships, we can invest in relationships, yes? But no relationship is permanent with someone outside. The realities of life is that a relationship is temporary, even with your husband, wife, child, mother and father. At some point it will leave you. Check your head, yes, it is true. Yes. Money is a temporary situation. Wealth can come and go. Yes. Health is a temporary situation. Even if you are in the best of health, your body will age. True, no? You try to maintain the body as well as you can, but age is a natural part of life. That's strength of the body. But, so all of those investments you can make, and all of them can change. All of them in some way can become less. Is it clear? All of those in some way can become less. But if you invest in your spiritual connection, if you invest in your peace, if you invest in your wisdom, if you invest in learning about you, nobody can ever take that. It cannot become less. It can only become more. Do you understand how that is? If you have more peace, can somebody take that from you? That is the point, right? You could be in a jail cell and your peace cannot be taken. No? You could be in the worst car accident and the worst health, cri health crisis and it can't be taken from you. It can only grow and become more. So doesn't that by definition make it the best investment? Since it cannot be taken, it can only grow. And just like the bank offers some interest rates, nowadays not so good, <laughs> nowadays a little bit mediocre, right, for your money, the universe offers some good interest rates. Because after you've invested in yourself a certain amount, the amount that it gives back to you is incomparable. It cannot be compromised. After you cross a certain threshold of how much you've invested in yourself, the peace that you feel, the contentment that you feel, 
the acceptance that you feel for life, the connection that you feel with yourself, the interest that that generates cannot be compared to anything else. That is why in all religions, all religions, remember, have a spiritual goal in mind. Whether they achieve it or not is a different issue, right? <laughs> they have a spiritual goal in mind. All religions will say, invest in you first. Isn't it so? And Christ said, lay your treasure, lay your treasures in you. Lay your treasures in the kingdom of heaven, not here on earth where they will with and perish. No. He's saying, lay your treasures in you. Discover that kingdom of heaven with you. So the goal of meditation is simply an investment. And like I would say, it's the best investment that you can make. So this is my urging to you. You all already made the first step in your investment. Come to the city councilor. <laughs> the financial counselor, right? To say, well, you should invest in X, Y, and Z, right? For your money, you do this, right? You will go and you see the insurance person. Well, I think so-and-so plan is good for you. Yes? So you have to see somebody who deals in those things, right? <laughs> so you come to see me to deal in peace, <laughs> to deal in energy. Life to investment. Yes, exactly, <laughs> life investment, right? So you make the first step in your investment. The next step in your investment is what? Practice. So after you have learned whatever little bit you have learned here today, what do you have to do? You have to go and practice. You could get all the best financial consultation in your life if you don't put the money away in the bank. It will do nothing. Isn't it so? Likewise, I can give you all the best advice. I can say work with yourself in this way, work with your mind in this way, work towards peace in this way. If you don't do it, <coughs> will, you, will you get it? No. So this is my, my advice to you as your counsel, as your counselor, <laughs> as your peace consultant. <laughs> if you want to yield the interest from your investment, you have to practice. You have to actually put in the work in order to yield the investment. Yes? Just remember, practice equals progress. Practice equals progress. If you want a more peaceful life, if you want a more wise life, a more joyful life, a more spiritually connected life, you have to actually practice doing that. Is it clear? So if you take nothing else, that's why, before I even start, I started. Before I even start, I'm <laughs> giving you the speech. <laughs> practice is a critical step. If you don't do the work, you can't get it. If you don't put the money in the bank, you can't reap the interest. Make sense? So what will practice look like for all of you? Somebody tell me. What will it look like? How will you know? Does it mean you'll have to sit down and meditate 30 minutes every day? Maybe 15. <laughs> Maybe 15, right, yes. Because, how can you invest $1,000 if you don't have $1,000? Make sense, no? First, you have to have the amount to invest. Right? So if you start for 15 minutes, and two, you have two minutes of peace, <laughs> and the rest of the time is you to get up all kinds of things. <laughs> what are you investing in? <laughs> Not the peace, right? You invest in two minutes of peace. So this is my advice to you, quality, not quantity. Is it clear? If you practice every day, and you should practice every day, practice with quality. Look for quality practice. So if your quality practice is you sit for one minute, and okay, I have successfully done one minute. I have successfully done two minutes. The third minute didn't happen. <laughs> Let it finish there. That's okay. Because just like you start off when you were a teenager, saving $100, $100, $50, right? Well, as a child, your parents hopefully taught you, well, put one dollar in your piggy bank from your allowance. So too, your investment with peace starts the same way. Invest two minutes, invest five minutes, invest ten minutes, and slowly over time, you will see the interest building. Slowly over time, you will say, oh, well, I'll just fit for my five-minute investment today. And you will say, wow, 15 minutes? How did that happen? It will come to you naturally. Do you understand? and then you will enjoy it more, because you will be surprised. <laughs> but if you sit down there and you try to grind yourself away, saying, I have to do this thing, you will suffer. Isn't it so? You will suffer. 
Right. So I finished talking about practicing. All of you will practice the exact right amount of time for you to give it a quality amount of practice. Yes? And for some people, the amount of practice is you sit down with your cup of tea, you say, okay, before I drink my tea, I will sit for five minutes and try to clear the mind. I will at least have a bit of peace before I drink my tea. <laughs> right? For some people, it might be you reach to work, yes? And you say, well, because you plan well and you reach to work early, right? Just shake your head, yes. Because you plan well and you reach to work. <laughs> Just shake your head. Because you plan well and you reach to work early, instead of immediately getting out of the car, say, well, I will go in exactly at 8. It's 7.52, 8 minutes of peace. Sit in the car. Do you understand? Work it into your day in small pieces, bit by bit, and you will see it will naturally acquire interest. It will naturally grow. I remember I suffered a lot as a teenager and when I was a young man, as though I'm not a young man, right? Um, <laughs> trying to work on my practice. Um, nowadays, because I invested so much before, I can sit for meditation and it will naturally come to me. I will be drawn in to the piece. I don't have to work so hard to get there because the interest is there. Do you understand? It naturally comes to me now because I've worked on it. And so it will be for you too. But you have to work on it two minutes at a time, five minutes at a time, ten minutes at a time, and you'll see it will naturally become more. All right. Before we go any further, um, I just want to hear, yes, everyone must do this. Um, your name? Yes? Who you are? So you introduce yourself for the group to know who you are. Um, your, maybe where you're from, that's fine. Yes? And what is your interest? Because all of you see, aha, meditation class with Vid. Yes, I must be there Sunday, 5 o'clock, I'm there. <laughs> right? I'm making that investment for myself. I want to know what kind of investment you're looking for. So I can give you the best consultation, right? <laughs> the best, the best um, advice, the best guidance. I use this time to kind of figure out how I can best help you. Right? And how to tune into you and, and give you the best support. So just tell me a little bit of information. Your name, so everybody knows who you are. And how is it you say, oh, meditation class, I must be there, 5 o'clock, and now you are here, right? What is the interest? So who would go first? Let Zara go first. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Hi, my name is Zara. Apparently, Bade knows my name because he said Zara. Uh, I am here because, um, well, I have to be because I think all of the right <laughs> My interest in meditation is um, what one major change that it helps me with is that um, it, it helps my entire body come to a form of peace when I come out of it. So like sometimes when I do my actual physical practice of yoga, uh, I'm still tense. My muscles are still tense. It's still like this, my, you know, that kind of tension. And like somehow I can't seem to relax, so I don't know how. But in meditation, even if um, somehow when I come out of it, like all of that tends to disappear. And I feel much more peace. I don't know how it does it, but that has been very helpful. And because of that type of experience, I feel um, excited to be more. Yeah, very good. But you are, you are telling me what is the effect of meditation. I am asking you why you do it. <laughs> oh. so, so do you do it only for that effect? Oh. So what's your reason? Because I want to. Okay. I want that to um, balance and, and, and peace of mind in me. And I feel <coughs> that is what helps more. Especially on our... So you want to make a good spiritual investment? Yeah. <laughs> good. Who's next? I wouldn't put all on the spot like I do Zara, right? I would just listen to what you say. <laughs> Okay, I'll go next. Yes. Um, my name is Alessandra, and well, the reason why I'm investing in my time here is same thing as Zara, to be more at peace and to be more present, to be to take more skillful action in life. Okay. Yoga. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, that's my reason. Good. Who's next? My name is Shireen. Yes. I do meditation because I seek 
um, grief and violence in my life, um, day to day. Um, I seek a greater sense of well-being, and I also want to strengthen that connection. What, which connection? A spiritual connection. What's that? Um, well, it's something that I feel when I meditate. Um, I get to this place of quiet within, mm -hmm. silence within. Mm -hmm. and so how do you know you're not just asleep? That I'm not asleep? Yeah. Because when you're asleep, you're quiet. Right? Okay. I'm, I'm conscious of what's right, happening. Okay. Yeah. Um, and at any moment, I could wake myself. Well, I can open my eyes. Mm -hmm. Whereas if I'm asleep, I can't do that. Really? really? Oh, fascinating! <laughs> <laughs> you can't wake yourself up from sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you all. If I'm real tired, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was like talking to me all day. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But with meditation, I can. Yeah. You know, okay. So I still. Um, so yeah, and um, yeah. So when I feel that sort of peace within, I feel um, taken care of. Okay. So good. Yeah, a kind of security. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Yeah. <clears throat> Who's next? Um, my name is Rianian. Yes, Rianian. I'm here because I want to be surrounded by positive energy. Okay and um, to be guided um, on the right path of quieting a very noisy and busy mind. <laughs> okay. A little more wise, very bad. Quieting a busy mind is separate? Right? Yeah. Good. Who's next? Me. Hi, I'm Tia. Yes. Tia, yes? Um, I want to use meditation so. to connect with myself mm -hmm. because some days you're like I'm, this is what I want to do and then some days you're like not so focused or not so into a change of mind and um, that affects everything yeah. when you're not sure or you're not 100% focused even though it's a physical action to be focused sometimes to do things, mentally you have to prepare yourself. Yeah, absolutely. And if your mind is like confused and the energy is low there, you, you you're just... Not, yeah, you're not efficient. Yeah. You're not effective. Yeah. And then it's very, very, it's like depression or frustrating okay. to not feel that confidence mentally to do something. Mm -hmm. So if you meditate and you know you empty this and you get rid of the nonsense that keeps coming in, you feel that energy build up. And um, I'm not good at it, but I do whatever little. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a skill, right? That you have to build. And sometimes it just comes to 